Hi, my name is Nisha Agarwal, and I'm a third year computer science major at UCLA. I was an intern at Kumo this past summer and winter break, and today I'm going to be talking about what I was working on during my internship, which is an AI movie concierge powered by Kumo on Snowflake. So I'm first going to give a quick demo of the chatbot, some of its capabilities, and some of the questions it can answer, and then go into the architecture and how I was able to build it. So one of the first things to know about this chatbot is that it can answer two types of queries, item to user and item to item. In this case, the items being different movies. So for an item to user query, we're able to gain access to a customer's personal watch history and deliver personalized movie recommendations based on that. For an item to item query or a movie to movie query in this case, we're looking at what movies are complementary to each other, what movies are of similar genres and other queries of that manner. So looking at some of the features we have of this chapa, we have a user login page where a user can enter their ID and that is how we're able to gain access to their personal history. We then also have some advanced options where we're able to select the model we're using to generate our final response. In this case, we're using the Mistral Large model. We also have an option to select the number of context chunk or documents that we are using to deliver that final response, as well as the number of messages we're using from our conversation history. We also have two toggles, Use Chat History and Debug. Debug toggle lets us look at the context documents that are being retrieved to deliver the response. So now let's look at a quick demo of some of the queries that this chatbot can answer. So here we're able to put in our user ID and log in. And now we're able to ask our AI movie concierge, what should I watch next based on this customer's ID? And so here we can see that we're retrieving the context documents for that specific user ID and then releasing the prediction, which is almost famous. And we can see on the left side, that's what the document says as well. Now we're going to look at a movie to movie query, what movies are similar to almost famous. And so here, now instead of doing an item to user query, we're instead doing an item to item query, where we're trying to see movies that are similar to almost famous. Here we can see that it's returned the different movies that are similar to Almost Famous, which also matches what we're seeing on the left side from the context documents. So now I'm going to go into the architecture of this chatbot and how I was able to build it. So we start off using the Movie Lens dataset from Group Lens. This is a publicly available dataset. We then pass this in to Kumo and run two batch prediction workflows, one for item to item and one for item to user. We then store these results in Snowflake tables. One thing to note is that the Kumo batch prediction workflows return a set of embeddings and a set of predictions. For this use case, we're not too concerned about using the embeddings, so we just store the predictions in Snowflake tables. Once these are stored, we then do some pre-processing to make these predictions more searchable through some SQL code. Once we do that processing, we then utilize Snowflake's Cortex search service to initiate our RAG approach. So we create two search services, one for item to item and one for item to user. From there, we use Cortex AI to classify the given user query as item to item and item to user, and then pass in the relevant context from the appropriate search service to generate that final response. Finally, we use Streamlit to generate an easy to use user interface um, for our final product. Then I'm now gonna go into more detail about each of the steps that was discussed in the architecture diagram. So the first step would be to run Kumo and do those two batch prediction workflows for both movie to movie and movie to user. So first starting off with the movie to user workflow, we can see our graph here consists of movies, users, and ratings all taken directly from our movie lens data set. And we're trying to get the top 25 movies for every user. And so here we can see the P query that we are running to obtain those predictions. And so from here, what we're able to do is then store the results of this batch prediction workflow into Snowflake. So here we're seeing first the item to user predictions that we've obtained from the workflow. And so here, this is the raw data we're obtaining from Kumo. And similarly, we also have an item to user embeddings table as well, also taken directly from that Kumo batch prediction workflow we just ran. Similarly, we do the same thing for movie to movie. And in this case, we're going to get the top 10 movie recommendations for every movie in the movie lens data set. And so here we can see the P query we ran to get those results. And then just as we did for item to user, we're going to store all of these back into Snowflake. And so again, we have two tables, item to item predictions, and we can see the raw data over here. And then we also have our item to item embeddings table, which again is all stored into Snowflake. And so the next step would be to do some pre-processing for these different tables. 
So now that we've ran our Kuma batch prediction workflows, our next step is to do some pre-processing to make these tables much more searchable so that our RAG gives us better results. And we're going to be doing this pre-processing for four different tables, movie info, user info, item to user predictions, and item to item predictions. The movie info and user info tables are taken directly from the movie lens data set, and the item to user and item to item prediction tables are taken directly from that Kumo batch prediction workflow. So here we have our script for pre-processing these different tables. So first off, we're going to look at movie info. And here we're mainly just concatenating different details from the data set into one long searchable text field that makes it much better for our RAG approach. And so we can see that over here. Similarly, we do the same approach for the user info table where we again concatenate all the information that was given to us into one searchable text field. And so here again, we can see the user info table over here. We can see it's all just one long sentence now. Then we're going to do the same approach for the movie to user prediction table, where we're again concatenating that raw data into one searchable text field. And this is a very common approach that we're using here for all of these tables so that it's not just raw data and it's very searchable instead. So here we can see that movie to user prediction table here. And you can see it's telling the different predictions for each user with the appropriate score. And then again, a similar approach is used for the movie to movie prediction table as well. And where we can see this raw data into Snowflake over here. And so here is our newly enriched item to item table as well. So now that we've finished the pre-processing for our different tables, we're ready to set up that RAG approach using Snowflake's Cortex search service. And so here we're going to set up two search services, one for item to user predictions and one for item to item predictions. So here we are seeing the code for setting up that first item to user search service. And so the key thing to note here is that we're searching across two tables. One is the movie to user predictions and the other is the user info table. And so from here, we're searching across two tables and then using that union all command, we're concatenating the results we get from both of these. Similarly for our item to item search service, we're doing the same thing except we're searching across movie to movie and movie info. So now we have these two search services set up and we can get it integrated into our final code to set up the entire chatbot. And so here we can see we have some different functions that are being used here. Here we have our function for querying each search service. Here, a key thing I want to note here is our classify query function. And here we're calling this to classify the given user query as either item to item or item to user. Once this classification is done, we're then able to call the appropriate search service and then retrieve the relevant documents and from there, passing that into Cortex AI to generate that final response. Finally, Streamlit is being used here, as we can see on the right side, to produce this beautiful, easy to use user interface um, for this final chatbot. So, in summary, we're using the Movie Lens dataset, Kumo, to produce those predictions from those batch prediction workflows we ran for both item to user and item to item. We're then using Snowflake's Cortex search services to do that RAG approach. And we're using Snowflake's Cortex AI to gen generate that final response. Finally, Streamlit is used to generate our easy to use user interface. Thank you so much.